Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce the session Accelerating Data Protection in Cloud Native Workloads with a full trust chain. Before going through the content, let me introduce the speakers. I'm Ruomeng Hao from Intel Software. Um, int I'll introduce the first part of the session. Another speaker is my colleague Xiao Chengdong. He will introduce container measurement for cloud native workloads later. I also want to take this chance to thank a few other contributors who have been working in confidential computing domain. They are Ken Lu, Wen Hui Zhang, Tina Song, Mei Xie, Hai Dongxia, Lei Zhou. Thank you all for the contribution. In this session, we'll explore the concept of confidential computing technology, the importance of zero trust, and the challenges in building an end-to-end -end trust chain for cloud workloads, how the CCAPI community helps to address the challenges with evidence APIs and container measurement, Additionally, we are going to show a use case of building trust chain to get remote secrets for Gen AI workload using the evidence APIs. The last part is call to action. I welcome everyone to join CCAPI community and contribute to the adoption of confidential computing technology. Okay. Uh, Typically, data exists in three states, data at rest, data in transit, and data in use. Traditionally, data is often encrypted at rest in storage and in transit across the network. However, the data is vulnerable while it's being processed in memory. Confidential computing addresses this vulnerability by enabling computation on encrypted data, ensuring that sensitive information remains secure even while in use. One of the primary benefits of confidential computing is the enhance of data secure in cloud environments. As organizations move their workloads to the cloud, the concerns about data security and privacy have grown. Confidential computing mitigates the concerns by providing guarantees that cloud service providers cannot access the sensitive data being processed, thereby enabling secure computation in a trusted environment. The cornerstone of computational computing is the use of hardware-based trusted execution environment, TEE for short. These TEEs use cryptographic keys embedded in the hardware CPU to encrypt the data, making it invisible to unauthorized users, including the untrusted host operating system and hypervisor. Such it safeguards the data and code being executed in the TEs, uh, confidential VMs, uh, from unauthorized access and tampering. Even by the privileged software such as operating system or hypervisor, this hardware isolation ensures that data remains confidential and the integrity is maintained throughout the computation process. To better understand the significance of building zero trust in confidential computing, let's see a real-world scenario. Imagine you are a company holding sensitive data which is encrypted in a remote storage, and you want to leverage the computing resource of the cloud. Traditionally, once your data is uploaded to the cloud, is susceptible to various threats, including unauthorized access by malicious insiders and cyber attacks. Confidential computing mitigates these risks by ensuring that data is not acceptable 
by the cloud service providers and all the unauthorized uh, entities, including the operating system. But how can you trust the remote computing resource? How to make sure your data will be uploaded to a trusted execution environment? Remote attestation can be leveraged to provide the evidence that workload is running in a secure, trusted environment. The evidence uh, includes the measurement and event logs of the TE. The evidence will be sent to the key management server for verification, and the key will be returned uh, after the verification is complete. And the sensitive data can be decrypted by the key and later running in the TE confidential uh, VM. This process ensures that only workloads running in a secure and trusted environment can access the sensitive data. And the remote attestation forms the foundation of building zero trust on the untrusted hosts. And next, let's see how to build an end-to-end -end trust chain for a cloud workload. Well, uh, building zero trust for workloads running on the untrusted host, it needs to build a full trust chain measurement and quote for remote attestation. In the context of confidential computing, Measurement refers to the collection of evidence that a system is in a trusted state. A quote is a signed report for remote attestation. It includes the information of system state for a relying party to verify and judge whether the system is trusted. If you are familiar with TPM, uh, you can find the command of creating TPM quote here. Well, in a confidential computing environment, the evidence are collected from several layers uh, for a cloud workload. The layer from bottom to top are TE, TCB, firmware, lunchtime, OS runtime, and container runtime. Each layer is measured by its previous step. And finally, uh, they form a trust chain. The event logs of each layer are calculated into hash digests and stored and stored in corresponding measurement registers. The hash digests are part of the quote. There are two challenges for building zero trust in confidential computing environment. The first is the heterogeneous TEs. Cloud service providers use different technologies and infrastructures, making it difficult to create a standardized approach to evidence collection and trust establishment. For example, one CSP may use multiple TE vendors, such as Intel TDX, AMD SCVSMP, and ARM CCA. Each of these technology has its own methods and interfaces for obtaining the evidence, adding to the complexity. Moreover, in a cloud native environment, workloads are often deployed in containers orchestrated by platforms like Kubernetes. This requires extending the trust chain to include not just the TEE and the OS, but also the container runtime and orchestration layers. This involves gathering evidence not just at the TE level, but also at the OS runtime and container level. Currently, there is no comprehensive framework that provides a complete chain of evidence from the TE firmware through the OS runtime to the container level. These two challenges make it difficult to establish a zero trust security model for a cloud native workload, where the trust should be continuously verified and not assumed. 
To address these challenges, CC API community is established to accelerate the adoption of confidential computing technology in cloud environment. The project evidence APIs is created to address the challenge one, diverse TEE vendors. The evidence APIs provide vendor agnostic and TCG compliant APIs that support access to evidence. The definition of these APIs can shield the complexity brought by underlying heterogeneous TEEs. These APIs use different methods to obtain evidence in various TE environment. For example, in the Intel TEX environment, the code is obtained from configFS TSM, while in the VTPM environment, the code is generated by accessing the TPM device. The main APIs focus on processing evidence which include the measurement, event log, and code. These are the foundations for establishing zero trust and completing remote attestation. It also provides SDKs written in Python, Go, and Rust for easy adoption by workloads. Since the evidence APIs had the differences of diverse TEs, the workload owners don't need to bother dealing with different interfaces from multiple TE vendors. It's transparent to high-level workload. The high-level apps only need to talk with the unified evidence APIs to get all the evidence required by business. Okay, next I will hand it over to my colleague Xiao Cheng to introduce how his API addresses another challenge of container measurement, as well as the applicable scenarios and use cases. I will continue to introduce the container integrated measurement and share a user case of a confidential ARGC loader. To establish an end-to-end -end for trust chain, uh, the root of trust begins with the uh, launch of a uh, trusted execution environment, uh, which comprises the trusted computer base of the TE. Uh, the process initiates with a firmware component such as uh, uh, virtual BIOS, uh, OVMF grab or shim as a bootloader, which measures the uh, firmware TCB. Uh, and subsequently, the uh, OS kernel and uh, initRD and other components are measured as uh, uh, OS TCB. CC API defines the cluster uh, TCB and the container TCB to extend the measurement to the container level. Uh, you, you can find a container measurement spec in the uh, CC API community. Uh, Container integrated measurement agent also uh, defined to uh, facilitate uh, container measurement. The Linux kernel provides uh, security FS, uh, including the integrated measurement architecture, the IMA, uh, which is a security subsystem designed in to measure the and ensure the integrity of files and the system components. Additionally, uh, C group, uh, the control groups is a kernel feature that allows to uh, for the allocation and uh, management of system resources. Uh, leveraging these two feature, we can uh, design a container integrated measurement agent uh, to collect the, the measurements for all containers uh, using the IMA policy. Uh, like uh, the TCP policy, and we can uh, separate uh, the containers uh, by their uh, C-group IDs. Uh, the measurement policy can be defined what uh, constitutes to um, the a class TCP or container TCP, uh, such as container runtime service uh, like uh, the container D, uh, and uh, the container runtime caller service like uh, the Docker or uh, Kubernetes. 
uh, the Container Integrated Management Agent, the CIMA, uh, manages all container event logs and the uh, management registers. A workload can um, use an uh, evidence API to communicate uh, with the CIMA to retrieve its own uh, event logs and the uh, management registers. There are several uh, deployment uh, options available for uh, running workloads in uh, confidential computing environments. For example, uh, a workload can run directly inside a con confidential uh, virtual machine or be built as a, a containerized application uh, running inside a, a confidential uh, VM. Uh, it can also be deployed with a uh, con confidential cluster or the confidential container to simplify the complexities of confidential computing deployment. Uh, additionally, a uh, confidential VM can be orchestrated by a uh, group of uh, with workloads running inside these VMs. To streamline deployment across these uh, environments, the CCAPI community has defined a unified uh, uh, evidence API for collecting the evidence for attestation. Uh, you can find more information in the link uh, provided below uh, for more details. Uh, here, here is a use case about uh, a confidential ARGC loader. Uh, the left diagram illustrates uh, a typical AI threat model uh, in comparison both deployment runtime and runtime security threats. These threats are categorized into model protection and data protection in the uh, right. To protect uh, a model, uh, it should be encrypted and uh, loaded by a confidential model loader. The loader will get the evidence and uh, obtain the decryption key after attestation, allowing the model to be decrypted uh, and loaded uh, uh, for use in uh, large language model applications uh, inside a, a confidential VM. Uh, Full disk uh, encryption also can be used uh, for the confidential VM to protect uh, the data uh, at rest. And uh, we can also use a uh, um, CVM image build tool to build, uh, the, uh, build a confidential VM image. Uh, data can um, typically be protected using the HTTPS a web server can run inside a confidential VM uh, when a front-end or microservice connect to the web server. Uh, it can include uh, its hardware attestation type and the attestation report in the request header. Uh, similarly, uh, the service can respond with its attestation uh, type and attestation report in its response header. So the um, Frontend uh, or the microservice can do a tetation and to make sure the service was running uh, inside a confidential VM. Uh, welcome to a contribute effort to uh, CCAPI community to accelerate confidential computing technology adoption. Uh, here, something we can do is. Uh, define more APIs to build in zero trust in cloud native environments and support diverse uh, TE for Intel, MD, ARM, and some other uh, TE providers. And uh, you can also uh, provide more documents for uh, the confidential computing technology or um, the deployments or some details for the uh, deploy developer. Uh, we also have some communication channels. Uh, first one is uh, our community. We have a CC API organization in github.com. Uh, we also have a, a Slack channel. 
you can submit the questions or uh, provide some comments in this channel. And we, we also have a, a regular uh, meeting, community meeting. Uh, so you can click the calendar uh, for more details. Thank you.